you probably see my camera behind me. I filmed about five, ten minutes of me pouring my heart out in front of that, and then it just goes map, 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 and says I'm out of battery. So I'm turning on my phone, which is a shame because I wanted to show you my passcode. Because my passcode is. O one one eight nine 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 eight eight one nine 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 one one nine seven two five three from the IT crowd. If you haven't seen the IT crowd, you can get off this channel now. I don't really want to. Don't really want to see you on this channel ever again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's your choice. Well, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm giving you that liberty. I mean, it's always been your choice. Um, yeah. The title of this video. It's probably got you thinking I'm going to be talking about like some metaphorical, metaphorical monsters. Yeah, yeah, in a sense they are metaphorical. Um, yeah, I should probably point out where I am. I'm in my garage, otherwise known as my ex-bedroom. And, uh, yeah, because it's, there is a lot of extended family in my house. And I don't want to wake them up with my rambling, so I've gone out here. And it's quite cold. Cold to the extent that I have to turn into an Eskimo. And, um... Yeah, I used, to, I used to love out here. I used to have my computer and a fridge. I've still got a fridge. Hold on. It's not a fridge. It's a freezer. Uh, it's a lot. I can, I can just have some crinkle cut chips whenever, whenever the hell I feel like it, which is great. Um, so yeah, enough about my room. X room. More about me. In the most... This is going to be a very pretentious and self-focused video. Because I want to talk about something that's been troubling, troubling me through intermittent points in my life that I've never actually spoken about because I've been worried what people will think, essentially. And uh, literally, I'm telling you this now, you on YouTube are one of the first people to hear this. And I mean that in the sense of literally my dad knows and a couple of people I've told recently know because I've gotten over it to an extent now. But, um... Yeah, anyone, if I haven't told you, and you know me in real life, it's because I didn't feel comfortable to tell you in a time recently. I may tell you soon, I don't know. And, um, what are you going to know now? The power of video. Um, I, you may notice I'm looking very tired. That's because it's the 1st of December at... Where's my phone? AM, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you are my phone, <laughs> in case you're wondering why I'm just laughing at that. Okay, it's 5am on a Monday, and I'm supposed to be going to college in about two hours. I'm supposed to be waking up to get ready. But I'm here, making a video, because I am scared to go to bed, essentially. Not in the scared as in like, oh, I'm literally like, terrified, but it's just an inconvenient fear. Uh, I... Through my life, I've had something called sleep paralysis, which is a neurological disorder in which you are frozen in bed and you cannot move, but you have your eyes open. And when I was younger, I used to just be paralysed. I would just have my eyes open, I could look around my room, and I would feel fucking scared, but, like, everything would be fine. As I got older, I started to hallucinate and see things. And I've never told, as you can probably tell, I'm not, I haven't told anyone, it makes me sound crazy, it makes me sound like a crazy man. So I never told anyone for fear of them thinking I was weird and denouncing me. So, um, yeah, I, I never told anyone, and it's been on and off, like, and I would never get it every night, I've so far, I've ne never had it for two nights in a row, actually no, yeah, no, I've never had it for two nights in a row. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. There is a woodlouse hanging from a cobweb. And the cobweb was apparently made of string because it just fell off. Um, but yeah, um, I've had it on and off for a while. I first had it when I was about seven, when I used to have my panic attacks. I used to have it. Then I got over my panic attacks because I'm a fucking G. <laughs> and, um, and then it went away. And then I got it again when I was about, let's say, 14, 13 or 14. And that happened consistently. That was the longest spell. And... I got it again this November, start of November, and I've no idea why, it just comes back randomly, I think, and um, essentially I've started hallucinating now, and that's common in sleep paralysis, it's fine, that's something that happens, 
uh, and I haven't had anything that genuinely scares the crap out of me, but there's been things that have worried me, like, like to an anxious state where I don't want to go to bed, and I would describe some of these things, but like, it's kind of hard. The one I can describe most vividly was I put myself under the covers to sort of shield myself from, like, because I thought, maybe if I wake up, if I can't see anything, there's no bad things, because when you're in sleep land, there are no scares, and um, uh, it didn't work. And basically when I opened my eyes, I started seeing things sort of like through the covers, like if you imagine, um, you can kind of still see the light through this, can't you? Like you can see this shadow kind of, that's a bad example. You can kind of see through it, and that's what it was like with the sheets. I could see through the sheets, and I could kind of see the sort of figures, like shadow figures kind of thing, moving around behind the sheets. And that's booed me quite a lot, because I could sort of, because when you're in this sort of state, even if nothing's a present danger, you can kind of feel like something's wrong, and I've never told, I've never told anyone, it's not even my mum, because I'm worried she'd worry about me, and then send me to a therapist, which I don't need, it's just something that's wrong in my brain, it's a little bit of brain but so, and there's nothing they can prescribe, I've looked it up, they can literally just say sleep on your front, which I tried, and it just makes it so I can't breathe, <laughs> which doesn't help, considering I've had times where things, I felt like I'm being pushed down on my stomach, at one time I felt like I was being pushed inside the bed, which wasn't nice. So yeah, the reason I'm telling you this, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's gonna sound, this is gonna sound either whiny or <sighs> dumb, but I want someone to talk to, <laughs> and I don't. I want someone to talk to, but I want someone to talk to who will understand, but like won't think I'm fucking weird. And so far I've tried to tell a couple of people and most of them have either not cared and forgotten, oh yeah, I've had that, even though they clearly haven't. Cause they haven't. Well, they might have, I'm being really mean there. <laughs> they might have, but they didn't sound like they did. Or they make me sound like I'm insane. So I'm telling you this now because I need to get it off my chest and I know that some of you will watch this all the way through and that means so much to me <laughs> to know that someone's gonna listen to this. It's not like a cry for help. Don't don't worry, I don't need any of you to add me and be like, oh, I'll help you, because I don't need therapy, like I've said. I just need to talk at something, even if it's a little little spot on the corner of my camera. I'm cool with that phone, not camera. God. Um, another reason is that I just want to... I'm going to release another video soon about the good things that have happened, because as you can recall, back in September, October-ish, I said I wanted to change myself because I wasn't happy, that's all gone good. Like, I've gotten so much better now, and I'm so happy, and I really do, like, feel better. So I want to talk about that as well, but I want to show you some bad points as well, because what is drama without conflict, you know? <laughs> no one cares, unless I throw in a bit of conflict. So yeah. That's all. That's all I want to say. I want to thank you for listening, because that's all I want, and as long as to know that you've listened. Uh, if you have anything to say, like, in the comments that's, like, linked with this, I will answer every comment linked with this, because I would like to help you as much as you helping me right now. So if anyone's, like, experienced this, or, like, is experiencing it, and they just want to discuss it, obviously it's not going to be like, this is how you can fix it, but it'll be a nice conversation, then sure. I will answer everything. You, you heard that. Make up anything you want. Say you've, like, I don't know, since your skydiving accident, you've had sleep paralysis, and every night you see a giant, you see a, a giant dice, like a fluffy dice, you're hanging in cars, coming at you, screaming, then yeah, you tell me about that, and I will, I will humour you. <laughs> that sucks. I won't humour you. <laughs> I will treat you normally. It's 5am. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go drink a lot of coffee now. So I'll see you soon. And I'll talk about good things. <laughs> Don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. Probably midnight. Sometime midnight, because you know it gives that kind of sense. So yeah, I'll see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Bye bye.